What's good, y'all? Talent Ted TV. Uh, we back for another one. Uh, yeah, man. I want to go through a couple things with y'all, man. I know y'all ain't hear me on the mic in a minute, but uh, this right here was important to me. Um, what we're looking at right here is basically that game between Indiana and Seattle that took place. And um, I want to speak on it because I think that Caitlin Clark is definitely being pushed in an emotional position that she doesn't need to be in i mean i know it's a lot of pressure and you know she's gonna have to deal with it but i'm just hoping that i can speak on it and hopefully you know clear her heads will prevail because what i'm seeing is a little bit a lot bit a whole lot bit disrespectful and i think it's unfair Anyway, um, the broadcast in this game is going to sum up everything that I'm trying to say. So let's um, take a look at it and we'll take it from there. All right, y'all. And I uh, appreciate y'all. Hit that uh, subscribe button. Definitely hit the like button. And comment in the bottom. Let me know what y'all think. Hey, maybe I'm wrong. You know what I mean? Help me out. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. All right. We out here. Here's Boston with it with one. She's going to have to float it up. It's going to be late. And that is it. All right. I need y'all to take a look at something, right? So shot went up. Now I want y'all to take a look at the whole Seattle team right here. I want y'all to take a look at the whole Seattle team, that bunch up right here. All right. Just keep that in mind, right? So it looks normal. It looks normal. You know, Got Caitlyn sliding over here to it. looks normal at the moment, but let's continue. An exhale from 18,343. The largest crowd ever. Now, remember I told y'all the commentator is going to sum up everything, right? So I need to play this back because y'all not listening. I need y'all to key in on what he just said, right? Key in on what he just said. crowd ever let's, let's listen to that again Thousand three hundred. <laughs> i didn't even bring back four you know that's what's so crazy exhale from eighteen thousand three hundred forty three. the largest crowd ever listen to it again y'all work with me man just work with me I gotta bring it back. I'm sorry, man. No disrespect, nothing. But I need y'all to get this into your head what he's saying. It! An exhale from 18,343. The largest crowd ever to watch a Seattle Storm basketball game. Oh my god. <sighs> I really got to do this video. It's kind of crazy. Y'all forgive me, man. You know what I'm saying? This is tough, man. This is tough, right? It's tough. I want y'all to understand this, bro. This is crazy. She's going to have to float it up. It's going to be late. And that is it. An exhale from 18,343. 18,343. This man called out the exact number. All right? And then listen to what he says after the fact. And y'all take a look at Kate and Clark. And I'm going to bring it back again. All right? Because um, I want y'all to understand. Look look at these ladies, right? This is probably the third or fourth game. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not 100% sure. This is probably the third or fourth game. But y'all, I need y'all to understand. Like, look, look how she just clenched her fist. Kelly, Kate, Kate, and Clark is just trying to get a dub right. But look at these ladies, right? All right, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna get to my point. Man. And that is it. Look, look at this. And trust me, what they're doing is utterly, utterly disrespectful. I have other words, but I'm gonna keep it clean. All right, but what's going on right here is utterly disrespectful. And I need y'all to listen to the commentator. Lock that into your brain, what he just said. An exhale from 18,343. 
look at that face, right? Now y'all wondering, like, well, why would she be looking like that? You know what I'm saying? Because most people didn't see it yet. You know what I'm saying? But it started right here. It started with this grouping right here. See? It started this grouping. Let's continue. And an exhale from 18,343. 343, right? And every number he just called, right? The mass majority of that number, this person right here. This person right here is the reason why he has the right to even call that number out. This person right here. Now, granted, she lost, so yeah, she should have a little negativity on her face. I'm saying y'all excuse me at the background man it, it, it is what it is man I don't live in a quiet area I'm trying my best man but anyway um yeah, things like that pissed me off but I, I just can't do nothing about it anyway um she's the reason right he's a, he's able to call out that number right the largest crowd ever to watch a Seattle storm basketball game now you see it, it all looks normal it all looks normal and they See a classic. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, look at this. This is probably like game three or game four. Yeah, look at this. All of this is disrespectful. And look at this over here, right? See that? But compare this right here to this. Like, are y'all are you kidding me, bro? So that means this whole entire, not the stadium. But this franchise, and I'm talking about the inner the inner workings of the franchise, the owners, the the, the coaches, everything. This is what y'all prepared if y'all want it. So imagine if they lost, dog. So basically, I guess Caitlin Clark is y'all WNBA championship. Cause I don't think y'all really doing that much. I mean, I watched the replay, the game, y'all not that tough. You understand what I'm trying to say? But y'all, just look at the disrespect. I need y'all to see that, all right? So we're going to bring it back, okay? It starts off with my girl right here, all right? We're going to make sense of it. We're bringing it forward. Here's Boston with it with one. She's going to have to float it up. It's going to be... All right, she let the shot go. It's an air ball. She missed. It's all good. Whatever. It scores 83 to 85. Y'all acting like y'all smacking them. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, she had hit it two. The game is tied. That got overtime. There's a good chance y'all lose. Is it that serious? All right, what y'all... Okay, let's go. Her fist is clenched. Clenched. All right. They are about to sprawl out from here and create the bunch. All right. Let me get through this. I don't want to make this too, too long. All right. Now, what y'all didn't notice. All right. Let me get back to it. Caitlin Clark attempted to shake their hands after. Right? You know what I'm saying? She's going to have to float it up. It's going to be late. And that is it. All right. She did a quick pan, making sure there ain't nobody hands to dab right quick. She left it alone. She tight. All right, boom. Let it, let it rock. From 18,343, the largest crowd ever to watch a Seattle Storm basketball game. Yo, she damn near looked like she was crying. Like she just wanted chip. Look at them, bro. Look at them, bro. This is probably like game two, game three. Game four, max, bro. The utter disrespect. So y'all that happy that y'all defeated Caitlin Clark, a rookie? Damn, y'all got some fear in y'all heart. That's how you know this team ain't going nowhere, right? Okay, this is the WNBA championship. They just won it right here, all right, against Caitlin Clark. Let's keep it moving. Now. And they see a classic. Look at this. Yeah, look, look at this. 85. Look at this. 83. We saw a little bit of she crying. She really was crying. She just wiped the tear from her eye, bro. A little bit of everything in this one. She, she just saw wiped it. A little oh bit my of god, bro. She wiped the tear from her eye. Look at this. We saw a little That's bit crazy. of everything in this one. But the right, bottom line moving. is look. All right, here, Keeklin Clark looking to give him dubs. You know what I'm saying? All right, yeah, I got the dub. It's so good. She like, yo. Where he at? 
I get a niggas a pound, you know what I'm saying? It's all good. All right, cool. She Seattle looking. wins, and they go to... She trying to get him respect. They ain't paying her no mind. It's all good. Two and three, and Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever gave it a great effort, but they fall two points. If I was her, next time we play zone and popping. Next time we play zone and popping. Now let me go through something right quick, all right? Because this video is going to be a little bit lengthy, but it is what it is. All right, now first things first, Kate and Clark is a rookie, bro. The team that she's playing with, because I had jokes, I'm not going to lie, I had jokes. I was like, ah, ah, in the beginning, I did have jokes. You know what I'm saying? But that's just in fun. I was like, ah, right, she's playing with a bunch of black girls, she's not used to that. You know what I'm saying? Like, basically, the color on the floor ain't really what it is for at the moment. You know what I'm saying? She's used to that, you know what I'm saying? Speedy Gonzalez up and down the court thing, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, that's just jokes. All right, so it is what it is. Moving forward, though, on a realistic level, let's be for real. It's a new team. They have to get acclimated. Her team is not as fast as her. That's the main problem with this team right now is that Caitlin Clark is a gunner. You understand? In many ways, she's a gunner with her hands and she's a gunner with her feet. You understand? She wants to get up and down that floor. That, that get to the half court, set up the offense thing, that's only for if she has to pass the ball. If they actually stop her, then she'll run that half court offense. You understand? So basically, Indiana has to put a team behind her and build around her. You understand? But at the end of the day, she's stuck with what she's got, so she has to work with it. You understand? So with that being said, us as fans, you know what I'm saying? And even if you're not a fan, like at least give her that respect to understand. Look, you know what I'm saying? Angel Reese is going through the same process. You understand? It's just Angel Reese has a better team and she fits in better with the team that she's on. Like the way she landed, she landed in a slot and she just fits right in. Caitlin Clark is a little bit different. She didn't land with a bunch of runners and gunners. You understand? So she got to kind of like, you know what I'm saying? And she has to add to her game. I'm not going to lie. You know what I'm saying? She got to learn how to get, she got, has. And really, that's the point I'm trying to make too. You understand? Because it's not just solely on the team. Also, she could, you know what I'm saying? She could elevate her game by figuring out how to play with the team that she has and still have her ability to play the way she plays, but she just added to her game. So now, based on what team she plays with or what type of <clears throat> raw set that she has with her, she knows exactly how to, you know what I'm saying, work it in. So give her some time. That's the whole thing. But I just want to make sure people understand that because honestly, dog, I really just don't think that's cool that, you know, yeah, she take a L, but after every game, like, she has to look like, you know what I'm saying, like, yeah, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? She didn't pick the team she, 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 that she went to. You know, she got to choose the college she wanted to go to, but she didn't get to choose. You don't get to choose the NBA team you go to. So give her a break, bro. Like, oh, some GG shit, bro. Talent Ted TV, man. What's wrong with y'all, man? You know what I'm saying? But anyway, it is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's going to have their opinion, so I'm having mine. You know what I'm saying? I'm just speaking my piece. So even if you don't agree with what I'm saying, I still respect you. It's not that serious. Once again, excuse the backgrounds, bro. Damn, bro. It's difficult, man. Anyway, let's keep it trucking and see if we can get through this because I don't remember everything 100%, even though I did see it before, but, you know, it's seen like the first time again. Anyway, we right here. Short, and they are now 0-5 on the season. My goodness. Elise Woodward is gonna talk to our player of the game just momentarily. We'll take you through some of the statistics from this one. Seattle shoots 42%, 34. Yeah, anyway, we're gonna go through this from beginning right through right quick. I'm gonna let y'all, and you know, like I said, if y'all don't see what I see, comment in the bottom, let me know. But that's just the way I feel because after most games, people dap up. You know what I'm saying? Here's Boston with it, with one. She's gonna have to float it up. It's gonna be late, and that is it. An exhale from 18,343. The largest crowd ever to watch a Seattle Storm basketball game, and they see a. 
look at this bro but i'm gonna be honest with y'all and we're gonna end this right here but look at this bro. classic 85 83 and even before i end it i just gotta go i gotta say this again listen to this man bro y'all gotta listen to Here's this one. Austin with, it, with one she's gonna have to float it up it's gonna be late and that is it an exhale from 18,343 the largest crowd ever to watch a seattle storm basketball game the largest crowd ever to watch a seattle storm basketball game in all the years the Seattle Storm have been there. Yo, Caitlin Clark, shout out to you, man. If this video ever gets you, just know that Talented TV is backing you. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get it right. Also, your team is going to get it right. And the beautiful part about this, I love your demeanor. I like that look on your face. You didn't look flustered. You know what I'm saying? You actually look all in your mind like you was like, like uh, well, this is what I was about to say. This is how rivals are created. So basically the look I seen from her was that basically we're gonna see you guys again. And um, I look forward to it. I'm gonna definitely be looking out for that next Seattle Storm Fever game. Anyway, uh, like I said, Forgive me on my content and the timing of them. I'm trying my best with it, you know. It is what it is out here with this YouTube thing. Uh, all work and do, and I do love what I do. So, you know, I'd rather be there than here. So, you know, it's hard to keep up. You know what I'm saying? News travel like like, like light, literally. You know what I'm saying? But um, it is what it is, man. Uh, y'all let me know what y'all think. Comment in the bottom. Uh, trying to get better with my videos. Y'all let me know what y'all think about those also um hopefully i bring out some 2k content try my best with it um you know i might start playing some of that wnba i'm trying to figure out why uh angel reese and caitlin clark is not in the game but you know i still run a couple games anywhere every so often and uh run that live so y'all look out for that tried it out yesterday it was pretty cool it wasn't too bad um y'all can check that out um uh, and it is what it is uh 17 minute video by the time i end it probably gonna be 20 minutes hopefully y'all stick around for that long if you did please hit the subscribe button please comment in the bottom y'all show your boy some love also y'all check out that flight sports tv i'm gonna leave the link in the bottom as always this is what we do you know what i'm saying talented tv and we are out of here year year here's boston with it with one she's gonna have to float it up it's gonna be late and that is it an exhale from 18,343 the largest crowd ever to watch a Seattle Storm basketball game